Welcome to ENN. I'm Brian Baumgartner. And I'm Emily Ayers, and this is your weekly news update and our last of the semester. The Human Services Building will now officially be renamed the Jeremy D. Brown Human Services Building. Construction took place between 2008 and 2011. The $6 million facility is home to the Nursing Department and the Speech, Language, and Hearing Department. The Cooper Science Hall Planetarium will host Stars of Wonder on Tuesday, December 13th at 7 p.m. This event will feature Christmas stars. For more information, call 732-2493. There will be a holiday sale at the bookstore through December 10th. Be sure to stop by and grab some Edinburgh merchandise because everything is 25% off. The 8th Annual Midnight Breakfast Sunday will take place the 13th from 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. The event will include an eating contest and giveaways. It's free and open to Edinburgh students with a valid ID. With the end of the semester right around the corner, students find themselves buried in notes to prepare for finals week, a time where all students are tested on what they've learned these past 15 weeks. But does it have to be so bad? ENN's own Cameron Stablin reports on tips for studying for the semester's finals week. Here we are once again, finals week. Five full days filled with multiple choice questions as well as agony. But there are a few things that can make this week a little bit more bearable. Here are this semester's study tips. Many students are surprised at the differences in studying for college courses versus how they studied in high school. When studying in college, whether or not you're a freshman entering their first finals week or a senior graduating this semester, it's important to have a battle plan when it comes to finals. Manage your time to study around classes and activities. This is vital for studying because it can determine just how much time you can devote to studying for a subject. Take notes in class and rewrite them at home to absorb the material and truly understand the class. Study hard subjects first and eventually work down. More difficult subjects will need more alertness and energy, so save the more enjoyable subjects for afterwards. Finally, find a quiet study workplace with as few distractions as possible, such as a library, so you're not watching TV when you should be in the books. For ENN, I'm Cameron Stavline. Stay tuned because coming up we have entertainment and world news, followed by weather and sports. We got the spirit, we're hot, we can't be stopped. We got the spirit, we're hot, we can't be stopped. We're gonna beat them and bust them. Beat them. The smallest them. moments can have the biggest beat impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad One more today. Time. All those boys are much too much. Those boys. Hello everyone, I'm Dorian Churn. And let's take a look at the final week's forecast. Let's start off on Monday. We have partly cloudy skies, highs 39 with a low of 27. On Tuesday, we have more partly cloudy skies with some sunshine here. Highs 41 with a low of 32. On Wednesday, my favorite day of the week on hump day, we have partly cloudy skies, highs 37 with a low of 32 degrees. On Thursday, we have some changes coming. So a few showers likely highs, 30 with a low of 27 degrees. And on Friday, the last day of the school week and school year, we have showers likely highs, 34 with the low of 21 degrees. So it's going to get chilly tonight. And let's take a look at the final question of this year. Where are members of the ETV team not going over break? A, Israel, B, Vermont, C, New Jersey, or D, staying in Edinburgh. And today's question is, weather question is, D, staying in Edinburgh. And you got that right. Well, I just want to thank the whole cast and crew of ETV. This has been a fun semester. Hopefully you can see me and Dave Champion, my partner in crime, back so we can give you weather for each week. I'm Chief Weather Forecast Dorian Churn, and we'll see you in the new semester. That's all we have for you this week, and that's it for the semester. Check back next semester for more Edinburgh news.